Alien. Whenever you want to make an action game but struggle to come up with an award-winning fabula, you can always rely on the tired but always thrilling trope of the alien invasion. Rebel Twins Aliens Drive Me Crazy is one such game, but thankfully it's not some ad-riddled half-hearted mess that aims for nothing bigger than one-star reviews. It's a fun game with heaps of personality, it's rich on content and perfect for snagging a quick play. So let's see how it plays. After the proverbial invasion plays out in a funny cutscene, our bearded pudgy protagonist gets dropped into a yellow sports car and literally gets driven crazy by the invaders. They have taken the form of earthly citizens and conquered the region of land that stretches across a number of districts and HQs and they hold people hostage of course. Aliens Drive Me Crazy is designed with purposefully awkward controls and physics. For the most part, the game runs on autopilot while your actions are limited to jumping up and jumping down straight through the roofs and floors of buildings. It's like Super Mario was riding a muscle car on his way to the castle, you know? Your actions bring mayhem to both the levels and the enemies you encounter, and just in case you felt like the game lacks something in the destruction department, the level designers have riddled the levels with TNT barrels, which ensures an explosive outcome to every maneuver. On your way to every district's HQ, you're able to pick up gold coins which you can spend on various upgrades such as new cars, weapons, character suits and more. Entering an HQ sees our inept but destructive protagonist step out of the vehicle and bring the fight to the aliens on two feet. Initially armed with a rather useless crossbow, he must dodge bullets and destroy walls with his bare head to free a number of hostages and destroy the alien beacon on top of the building. For some reason, the operation sees the whole building collapse to the ground in the end, but if that's what it takes to save Vert, well, we'll have it that way. While executed blissfully chaotic gameplay aside, Aliens Drive Me Crazy features a hilarious cartoony presentation that feels somehow natural to the experience. While the overall style is overly cute and self-ironic, it doesn't feel like emptying bags of sugar into your eye sockets. It actually matches the game's slapstick tone nicely and the quality of the art and assets is top-notch. The same can be said for the game's B-movie soundtrack, although the themes are short and get rather repetitive very soon. As a whole, Aliens Drive Me Crazy is a fun ride if you don't take gaming very seriously. What we felt was charmingly dumb chaotic gameplay could stand for a glitchy buggy mess if you aren't able to go along and have fun with it. Taste aside, the game shines with its ability to keep you entertained on both short and long bursts which makes it perfect for almost any times you may wish to kill with your smartphone. The game is available on iOS and Android, the iOS version costs about $2 while the Android version is free to play with ads which can be removed with a single payment. This is Luis from Phone Arena, thanks for checking out our review.